क्वेश्चन नंबर 46 में एक सर्कल दिया हुआ है एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू थ्री और एक पैराबोला दिया हुआ है एक्स स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू वाई और ये दोनों इंटरसेक्ट करें किसी पॉइंट पी पे इस पी पॉइंट के कॉर्डिनेट को हम लोग आसानी से निकाल सकते हैं बाई पुटिंग एक्स स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू वाई एयर सो दिस विल गिवस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू वाई माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो एंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई फ्रॉम हेयर इज माइनस थ्री एंड वन सो y equals minus 3 will be rejected because y is always positive. So y is 1, so x is root 2 and minus root 2. So the coordinate of the point P will be definitely root 2 comma 1. Now we are saying that P point we are drawing a tangent which is tangent in the circle. So we can write it directly x x1 plus y y1 plus x x2 equal to तो दिस विल बी द इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट एट रूट टू कॉमा वन नेक्स्ट लोग बोल रहे हैं क्या कि ये जो टेंजेंट है ये दो और सर्कल सी टू और सी थ्री को टच कर रहा है एट द पॉइंट आर टू एंड आर थ्री सी टू और सी थ्री जो सर्कल्स हैं उसके सेंटर्स वाई एक्सेस पे लाई कर रहे हैं तो हम लोग बोल सकते हैं सी टू और सी थ्री के सेंटर्स अगर वाई एक्सेस पे लाई कर रहे हैं तो लेट द सेंटर्स बी जीरो कॉमा अल्फा एंड जीरो कॉमा बीटा C2 और C3 के सेंटर्स को हम लोग मान रहे हैं जीरो कॉमा अल्फा एंड जीरो कॉमा बीटा नेक्स्ट हम लोग बोल रहे हैं क्या कि अगर रेडियस उन दोनों के बराबर जैसा कि क्वेश्चन में दिया हुआ है एंड द रेडियस इज इक्वल टू टू रूट थ्री तो ये अगर सर्कल को टच कर रहा है तो जीरो कॉमा अल्फा से इसका परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस विल बी टू रूट थ्री सो इफ यूल कैलकुलेट दिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम जीरो कॉमा अल्फा दिस इज अल्फा माइनस थ्री का मॉड अपॉन दिस इज रूट थ्री इक्वल्स टू रूट थ्री so clearly this is going to be 2 into 3 6 so the value of alpha is 9 and minus 3 so we can see the centers that is q2 is 0 comma 9 and q3 is 0 comma minus 3 clearly q2 q3 is going to be 12 now if we are calculating the values of R2 and R3, so R2, R3 will be the transverse common tangent and for that we can also calculate distance between the centers that is going to be root under 12 square minus R2 plus R3 whole square that is 2 root 3, 2 root 3 that is 4 root 3 k square that is going to be 16 into 3 that is 48. 12 square that is 144 and minus 48 and this is going to be root under 6 and this is going to be 9 and this is going to be 6 sorry 4 root 6 so the value of r2 r3 is 4 root 6 so a option is also correct b option is also correct Next, we have to find out the area of the triangle P, Q2 and Q3. So, if we are calculating the area of the triangle P, Q2 and Q3. So, this will be half Q2, Q3 ka length hai 12. Or P se Q2, Q3 ka jo perpendicular distance aega that is root 2. So, this will be 6 root 2. And if we are cal calculating the area of triangle O, R2 and R3. So, this is going to be half into origin se hum log iska perpendicular distance nikaal sakte and this is 3 upon root 3 and R2, R3 ka jo distance hai this is 4 root 6. So, this is going to be root 2 times and this is going to be 2 times. So, this is going to be 6 root 2. So we can see the area of triangle OR2, R3 is going to be 6 root 2, but this is a wrong option. So the correct answers are A, B and C. Question number 47. In question number 47, we are given three functions F, G and H. All three are defined from real to real and these three functions are also differentiable function and we are given 
f of x equal x cube plus 3x plus 2 we are given g of fx equal x and we are also given h of g of gx equal x now we have to check different options for the given information now one thing is important as we are given g of fx equal x it means g is the inverse function of f g is inverse function of f and vice versa now let us check first option in first option we have to find derivative of inverse function at 2 as we are given g of fx equal x if we differentiate this we find g dash of fx multiplied by f dash x equal 1 and from this we can see that g dash of fx equals 1 upon f dash x this implies derivative of g at 2 will be equal to 1 upon derivative of f at 0 this we can see as g is the inverse function of f and we can see that f0 is equals to 2 therefore derivative of g at 2 will be 1 upon derivative of f at 0 and if we differentiate this we will find f dash x equal 3x square plus 3 and therefore f dash 0 will be equal to 3 and finally derivative of g at 2 will be equal to 3 implies option A is incorrect now come to option B in option B we have to find as just one for this we take help of this result difference we are given h of g of gx equal x if we differentiate this result with respect to x we get s dash of g of gx multiplied by g dash of gx multiplied by g dash x equal 1 from this result we can see that s dash of g of gx will be equal to 1 upon g dash of gx multiplied by g dash x now we have to find derivative of function h when x is 1 for this we have to put this g of gx equal 1 now g of gx equal 1 implies gx equal g inverse 1 as g inverse is f this becomes f1 and value of function at x equal 1 will be equal to 6 therefore we will see that and from this x will be equal to g inverse 6 and again we can see that g inverse is f of 6 and f of 6 we can find from here and it is equal to 6 cube plus 18 plus 2 which is equal to 236 therefore clearly we can find derivative of h at 1 will be equal to 1 upon g dash 6 as we have seen that g x equal 6 multiplied by g dash of as we have seen x equal 236 now this result is equals to what 1 upon 6 and this is equals to 1 upon triple 1 which is equal to 666 this implies option b is correct now let us see option c in option c we have to find h of 0 
Now for this option from this result we have to see that g of g x will be equal to 0. This implies g of x will be equal to g inverse 0 as g inverse is f f of 0 and from there we can find f 0 equal to it implies x equal d inverse 2 again g inverse is function f this gives f of 2 and from there f of 2 will be 2 cube 8 plus 6 plus 2 which is equal 16 therefore x becomes 16 and from this equation we can see that h of 0 will be equal to 16 implies option c is correct now come to last option d in d option we have to find h of g3 now for this again we have to put gx equal 3 now gx equal 3 will give x equal g inverse 3 as g inverse is f this become f of 3 and we can find f of 3 equal 38 and therefore we can see that h of g3 will be equal to 38 implies option d is incorrect and therefore the right answer for this question will be options B and C.